NLMs work wonders on text data, but what about audio and video files? Easy solution would be to transcribe these files into text. That would work, but you will still lose some valuable information, especially if your files include multiple speakers. Information like how many people are speaking and who said what. In this video, we will learn how to build a RAG application that can take multiple speakers into account when it's answering questions. But let's first see how this can benefit your use case with some examples. Here is a panel discussion where the speakers are talking about AI technology and how they leverage it in their organizations. Around the midpoint of this discussion, they answer the moderator's question on what they think about building AI in-house versus using a third-party provider. Do you do it in-house or do you, do you pull in third parties? If I ask the question, what are each speaker's opinions on building in-house or using third parties? The RAG application that only uses a plain transcription, which we would call the transcription application, gives me an answer presenting the overall opinion of the group, whereas the RAG application that takes the speaker labels into account can find out each speaker's opinion separately. In another example, we have a quick debate on TV on the topic of working from home or returning to the office. Part of it is that I think you can't put the genie back in the bottle. We can ask what are the two opposing opinions and how many people are on each side. In that case, we get a much more accurate answer from the speaker application. And last example is how you can extract some practical information from these recordings. For example, if you ask how many speakers and moderators are in this call, the transcription application can at best tell you that there are multiple speakers in the call, but cannot identify the actual number. All right, let's see how we can build this so you can start using it in your projects. We have a Colab notebook prepared for you already. You can find the link in the description and using that, you can already get started with it. And in this video and the remaining part of this video, I'm going to go through the code to explain how everything works. So if you wanna customize it to your needs, you can do that. So first of all, you're going to want to install the dependencies. We're using the assembly AI and Haystack integration in this code example. And with this one, you can easily build with Haystack using assembly AI summarization and speaker labels capabilities. Haystack, if you never heard of it before, is a Python framework. It's an open source Python framework to build LLM applications that are production ready. And with Haystack, you can find all the tools that you need to build a end-to-end -end application. And it comes with the assembly AI integration, so you can use it on your audio or video files with ease. To make sure you can use this code, there are two accounts that you need to create. First one is the assembly AI account. That is very easy to do. Just go to assemblyai.com and you can say get started to create an account. With that, you're going to get your free assembly AI API key. You can just copy it here. And next, you also need a Hugging Face library access token. So make sure that you have that set up in your Hugging Face account so you can use this code. We already downloaded the audio files from a couple of YouTube videos for you to make it easier for you to test, but you can also use your own uh, audio files by uploading them here to your Colab environment, uh, or you can use the code that we have here to download it from a Google Drive. I'll just make the code a little bit bigger so it's a bit more legible. Uh, the next thing to do is here to specify your assembly AI API key and your hugging face API token or access token. So let's run this and then I will download all the files that are in the Google Drive that we provided. You can see the examples here. We have the Netflix Q4 2023 earnings interview. We have a panel discussion generally around the topics of AI and how organizations use AI. Uh, you can listen to it yourself too. And we have another debate about working from home. This is a shorter one, I think around three to four minutes, whereas the panel is around 40 minutes. Same with the earnings interview is 40 minutes to an hour. So apart from Haystack and Assembly AI Haystack integration, we're also getting the sentence transformers from Hugging Face uh, to use in our embeddings. And then also uh, we're getting Google down or G down to be able to download our files from Google Drive. Once that's downloading, I can also run this to copy and paste my assembly AI API key and the Hugging Face access token. The rest is actually very easy. We're going to be creating two Haystack pipelines. The first one is going to be for transcribing our audio or video files. 
uh, into text and then dividing them into chunks and ed embedding them to save them in a haystack document store. And the second one will be about our RAG application, but I will talk about that one in a second. So the first one is about transcription and saving these files into a document store. So first of all, I'll tell you what we're creating. We're going to need a in-memory document store where we're going to save these documents. We're going to need the assembly AI transcriber that's going to be coming from the integration. We, have, we will have a document splitter, a sentence transformers document embedder to create the embeddings of these uh, text files that we created from the audio file and a document writer. So after importing everything, we're just going to create all of these components and then we will start a pipeline. And to this pipeline, we will pass all of these components. And then we're going to connect these components to each other. So first of all, we're going to have the transcriber speaker labels component. And this, after the speaker labels are created, we're going to send them to the document splitter called here the speaker splitter. Once the documents have been split into chunks, it's going to be sent to the speaker embedder where they're going to be put into embedding so that we can save them in our document store. And we're going to achieve it using this speaker writer component that is right here. And the nice thing about Haystack is that you get a nice diagram of what your pipeline looks like. So once you pass it a file path of video or audio files, the transcriber will create the speaker label transcription, send it to the speaker splitter, the split documents, the list of documents will be sent to the embedder where they will be embedded. And then this will be passed to the speaker writer that will write these documents into your document store. Here, all you have to do is basically to run this pipeline, pass it the file path of the file that you uploaded. And then we're going to configure our assembly AI transcriber. So here with the assembly AI transcriber integration, you have uh, three options of what you can do. Uh, first option is to just transcribe it, just a plain transcribe the audio file. And that happens by default. So when you call the assembly AI transcriber, that happens automatically. You can also add on summarization and speaker labels. We're not going to use summarization in this example because we don't have a need for it. We're going to set speaker labels to true so we can get the speaker label transcription of this file. And here on your screen, now you can see the difference between having a plain transcription and a speaker label transcription. So with the speaker label transcription, each utterance or each sentence or group of sentences is attributed to a person who speaks in this recording. You can also check out the documentation for the assembly AI and Haystack integration through the link in the description or the link that is right here or right here, one of those. <laughs> All right, so once we've done this, the next step is to create the RAG pipeline. What the RAG pipeline is going to do is to make sure that we are retrieving the relevant information to the question that is being asked so the question can be answered in the most accurate way possible. So here, we're basically going to do the same thing. On a pipeline, we're going to connect a bunch of components so that this REC pipeline will give us the best answers. So, so we're going to be using a sentence transformers text embedder that's going to embed the query that is being passed from the user to this application. We're going to use an in-memory embedding retriever to retrieve the top K, so that you're going to decide what the top K is, but it's going to retrieve the top K relevant documents to the user query. We're going to use a prompt builder, and this prompt builder is going to use the prompt that we're going to pass to the RAG application, plus all the documents and relevant information that is found through the RAG application to our prompt when we're asking the question. And finally, we will be using the Hugging Face TGI generator, which is basically going to provide us with the model that's going to answer the questions. So after we import everything, we're going to, um, first of all, create all of these components. Uh, the model that we're using here will be OpenChat 3.5. Uh, we're going to give this RAG application a prompt. So this prompt, we're just going to explain what the transcription looks like. So for example, we'll say you will be provided with a transcription of a recording with each sentence or group of sentences attributed to a speaker by the word speaker followed by a letter representing the person uttering that sentence. So basically, so that it knows what it's uh, faced with. So it's not just a plain transcript, but a transcript divided per speaker. We can also set a limit for how many tokens that are going to be created as an answer. And again, we're going to connect these components to each other. 
If you wanna go deeper in this code to understand how everything works, and also to have some reference links, you can go to the blog post that we created together with Haystack using the link in the description or in the card uh, in one of these corners. Once again, let's run this. So one thing to pay attention to in this code here is to connect the correct inputs and outputs together. So for example, in the prompt, as you can see, it has two inputs, documents and question. So when you're connecting retriever to the prompt builder, make sure you're connecting the documents output of the retriever to the documents input of the prompt builder. Once we run this code, again, we get a nice diagram of how everything is connected. And the last thing is you can start testing with it. So basically all you have to do is to call the speaker rack pipeline, which is the pipeline that we just created here that retrieves the documents using speaker document store, which is the store that we created in this pipeline where our audio files divided chunks in an embedded way is saved. And in that way it is able to answer the questions that we have. So in this example, we ran the example using, let's see which one, the panel discussion. So the panel discussion is about um, AI and how organizations use AI. We can, well, it's actually the question is ready here. The question is what are each speaker's opinions on building in-house or using third parties? And then we can also specify how many documents we want this application to take into account when it's answering this question. So let's run it. And then we can get a really nice answer that knows which speaker said what. So for example, it says speaker A is interested in understanding how companies decide between building in-house solutions or using third parties. So basically that is the person who's asking the questions, that is the moderator. And then we can get speaker B believes that the decision depends on whether the task is part of the company's core IP or not. And then you also get the opinion of speaker C. This code is already available on Colab. So head there, try it out on your use case. If you find something interesting, leave a comment down below and let us know, we would love to hear it. If you want to learn more, check out Ryan's video here where he talks about how LLMs can do things they were not trained for, also known as emergent capabilities of LLMs or emergent abilities of LLMs. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.